Sodom has become corrupt, a city of sin. But my nephew Lot lives there. He has a famine. The outcry against Sodom is great. Its sins are very brave. You're going to destroy it. If there were 50 good people in Sodom, would they suffer the same fate as the wicked? If my angels find 50 righteous people in Sodom, I will spare the whole city. Please, help us. What are you? 30? 20? You would not destroy them, surely. Please. Help us. This way, sir. What are you doing? Who are these people? What if there were ten righteous men in Sodom? Even if I find only ten, I will save the whole city.
Each specimen was carefully separated and prepared for testing, with the outer portion cast aside. Next, the samples were dried and placed in a rock crusher. Then they were pressed onto a disc. Then they were loaded into a machine for the semi-quantitative X-ray analysis. Each sample was individually transported into the testing chamber for analysis. The results proved to be quite amazing. As the samples were found to be 98% pure sulfur, unlike any other sulfur found on Earth. This pure, cooked sulfur is the heavenly marker that was left behind to show the world that the Lord, without a doubt, destroyed these sinful cities at His command. Critics have said that the sulfur is from volcanic activity, but that type of rhombic sulfur is only 40% sulfur and is of a crystalline form, unlike the white, compacted monoclinic form that is found in the ashen cities today. Here is a round piece of brimstone embedded in a section of ash. Another clump of ash contains a piece of brimstone that has a burn ring surrounding the unburned sulfur inside. Is this not enough evidence for people to, to find all of these man-made looking structures, ashen remains crumble in your hands, in the location where we're told in the Bible as, a, as evidence of God's judgment, as uh, described by Josephus, historian, but then also finding circular, almost pure sulfur balls in the middle of the ash, in the middle of the walls and the shapes of the buildings. Is this not enough evidence for us to, to see that A, the Bible is true, and B, God is a just God and we need a saviour because sin requires punishment. Sin is, brings on the wrath of God and this place is the evidence of the wrath, the wrath of God, a holy God. Hey guys, Citrus Elmo here. So I hope you enjoyed this short video on Sodom and Gomorrah with some of the most irrefutable evidence there is. You would have to be completely ignorant to ignore the facts. So there will be many more videos like this coming up and I hope you guys stay tuned with it because it is going to open your eyes and show the true existence of our Lord and Savior. Have a blessed day.